Oh, my God. All right, you guys. Dramatic entry, right? So, I told you why I love being a mystery shopper. But what I didn't tell you was how to sign up to be a mystery shopper. Hey, again, it's me, Maisha T., your thriving single mom and founder of Brown Sisters Speak. So let me just give you a little disclaimer that um, a few disclaimers before getting started into mystery shopping. Disclaimer one, I am not being paid or promoted by a company to share this information. I just want to give you tips to thrive in life, build you a passive income, use that income to pay bills, get out of debt or start a Christmas fund. Um, number two, when you sign up to be a mystery shopper, this is my second disclaimer. You will need to provide your social security number. Do not be alarmed. You're providing this because you are stating that you're an independent contractor and you do not work for the company. There are federal laws that state if you're a federal um, a independent contractor and you make, I believe, over $500 with any company, you do need to report that as income on your taxes. Second disclaimer. Disclaimer number three. To be paid as a mystery shopper, when you sign up with these companies, you will have the choice to get money PayPal to you or a check sent in the mail. One of my favorite companies, Bear International, they send me a check in the mail and so does Ann Michaels and Associates. And I'm going to list those in the description box below. They will send me a check in the mail and it comes pretty fast. My final disclaimer is that when you begin your mystery shopping journey, do not expect a check in advance, okay? The check doesn't come in two days or in seven days. However, GFK Mystery Shops sometimes runs promo and deals. And so do the other companies that I'm going to put in the description box. Um, well, they will pay you four days after your uh, mystery shop is complete and your report is complete. Oh, yeah. Disclaimer number five. I don't even know what number we're on. You have to write a report. So mystery shopping, let me go back to basics. Erase all my disclaimers. So mystery shopping, um, it's not just you going in the store and shopping. It's you going in the store and working on a checklist that the merchandisers or the company give you that you're going to go look for. Perfect example. I had a mystery shop at a grocery store. The company sent me like a it was a PDF. I think it was like a five page PDF on where, what departments they wanted me to go to, how much they wanted me to shop, how much my reimbursement was, um, and how much they'd be paying me for the mystery shop. After you do their checklist, you have to file a report. That's how you get paid for mystery shopping. It's not just going in the store and saying, oh, I like those shoes. There's several different factors that these companies want you to look for. One would be a big one, a huge one for most companies is customer service. And so you have to kind of take notes. And if you can remember names and discreetly, you have to do this information so that you can write it in your report. A lot of them want, if the store was clean, they want cleanliness, cleanliness details. Some of them also may want photos. So as a mystery shopper, you are basically a secret agent for a third party, for a larger corporation, Gap, Starbucks, JCPenney, you name it, there's a hotels, you name it, there's mystery shopping for that. Um, and so you have to write a report. So let me go back. So say you decide to go sign up as a mystery shop. Um, and I'm going to put all the links below. And I'll make a video too over the weekend to show you guys exactly how to sign up. But I'm going to go to www.bearinternational.com and I'm going to sign up as an evaluator. When you sign up as an evaluator, you're going to need your name, your address, of course, your social security number, which I talked about in the beginning of the video, and some require a driver's license. You're going to input all that data in your PayPal address or check off if you want them to send you a check, whatever the case may be. Um, and you're going to hit submit. Some of them have tests you can take right away. Other ones, and when you get to that main screen that says go to the job board, you can go to the job board and immediately start applying for jobs. Now, for some of these companies, you need a five-star um, shopper rating. And the easiest way to get that shopper rating is to take the pre um, some of the pre-tests um, that are available. If not, 
you just go ahead, you sign up, you sign the agreement. The agreement, again, just states that you're an independent contractor, you're going to follow the rules of the report, and so on and so forth. You're going to go to the job board. You're going to pick at, pick your job in your area. Um, now, remember, you don't get reimbursed for mileage. Um, some of them do, depending on the job. So pick something close. I happen to live in the Bay Area, so I usually go to Berkeley, Oakland, San Francisco, Hayward, wherever. If I know I'm planning a trip in those areas, like if I'm going to go to San Jose and see my cousins, which I love you guys and I owe you a trip to San Jose, um, I am going to look up a mystery shop that I can do either on my way to my cousin's house or when I leave my cousin's house that I can take my kids to. So a perfect example is a grocery store that I can go in and do a shop and leave the shop, do my report and call it a day. Um, so you want to pick something local to your area, track your mileage as well, um, and apply for it. After you're done applying, then you can um, go from there. So once you get the job, you're going to download all the notes from the platform. Um, and those notes will go over the details of the job, the instructions, what the job is, the compensation, and when your report is due. So that's the catch with the mystery shopping. There is a report. So there's a lot of determining factors to know that if you really want to know if a mystery shop is worth it. If you send me an email, um, I'll put my email in the details. I can um, schedule an appointment and we can go over that more to help you out and help you get started. Um, but you want to follow those details to the T because these the, the people who read the reports are very anal on grammar, um, use of language, um, descriptive. So this is something that um, it's fun, but it can be a little challenging if you um, really aren't into report writing. But at the same time, I do have a tip to use. You can always create a, excuse me, a skeleton sample. The more mystery shops you do, you'll learn how to build skeleton samples. And I have a few um, that will help you along the way do your reports. Most of the reports are due within 24 hours of your mystery shop. So be sure the night of your shop that you go ahead, complete the report and submit it and get it out the way. So the five companies... My top five that I list are the shops that are the easiest, have the easiest reporting methods to do. And some of the bonus ones are a little bit longer, but again, it may or may not be worth your time. So let's think about this. But some mystery shop reports can take up to an hour. So you have to decide if a mystery shop of $25 is worth that. And you need to think about the time you travel there, plus the time you spend doing your reporting. Is that $25 worth it? For some of us, it's just a hit or miss because when you plan your mystery shops, you can plan them around the time that you are in commute or the time that works best for you. So those are just some key things to think about. So again, when you apply for mystery sh for your mystery shops, you're gonna click we'll click one of the links below the video description box. You are going to hit apply. You are going to enter your personal information, including your social security number, because again, you are an independent contractor. You'll also select if you want to choose PayPal and or get a check mailed to you. Um, and once that's complete and you most of them you get approved right away, you can start applying for mystery shops. And just make sure you're going to apply for the shops that are give, going to give you the bang for your buck when it comes to filling out the reports. So you guys, let me know if you have any questions. If you want to see a sample video of how to apply for a mystery shop, you can go ahead and sit, put a comment in the video below and or send me an email. And my email is myesha at myeshat.com. In the subject line, put mystery shop help. And I will be super, super happy to help you. I hope this video helps. I do plan to add to the series um, to show you how to do mystery shop reporting and things of that nature. Um, and I look forward to helping you become an awesome mystery shopper and building wealth and getting out of debt. This is one of the best passive income streams I've ever chosen. You guys have a great day. I'll see you later. Again, this is Maisha T, thriving single mom and founder of Brown Sisters Speak.